and I fully accept that isn't enough and we acknowledge in this manifesto that we'd have to go beyond that and we talk about public sector pension reform there will have to be an axe taken to a lot of defence procurement and we recommend a rapid defence review in order to identify precisely what has to go there has to be a fundamental change in the vast outlay that government makes on computer projects and all the consultancy associated with that we don't put figures behind these because we can't yet identify them but we see the direction of travel now the point of all this is that if this discipline in public spending can be applied there is no need for an increase in taxation and we're advocating we're not advocating an increase in taxation beyond the two billion levy on banks which we've long advocated uh, as an insurance fee for the protection that the taxpayer provides to the banking system beyond that nothing we believe is necessary the British families and businesses are already taxed enough what we do propose on tax however is a radical overhaul and simplification of the tax system the details are summarized on page 100 at the back of the manifesto it's set out line by line this is the proposal to lift the threshold to ten thousand pound a year nobody pays income tax below that level lifting three and a half million people workers low-paid workers and pensioners out of income tax altogether cutting the average tax bill for 700 pound 14 pound 1400 pound if you're a double earner family and we identify specifically how we pay for that and it does involve removing tax reliefs mainly from high earners we've identified pension tax relief at the higher rate uh, capital gains tax allied with, aligned with um, earnings uh, taxation as it was in the late 1980s. We suggest a taxation on mansions worth over £2 million, 1% 1 on the increment above that level. Uh, we have identified not a generality of problems in tax avoidance but very specific tax avoidance loopholes which on the basis of advice we received we believe we could close and we advance green taxation in respect of aviation and those measures together finance in full the tax cut that we propose for low and average earners by cutting their their income tax and the underlying principle behind that it's about giving people an incentive to work and save it's also about fairness because these are going to be very difficult times ahead and it's very important that we have a sense of solidarity in society and one of the best ways of achieving that is through a fair tax system. But to develop the idea of fairness and the philosophy behind this manifesto, and I want to ask our party leader, Nick Plegg, to come forward and discuss it with you. Thank you. Thanks, Vince. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Elephant Man, Vince. Uh, thank you very much for coming to our manifesto launch. Every manifesto needs to have an idea at its heart. And the basic idea that animates this manifesto is something I've always believed. I believe every single person is extraordinary. And the tragedy is that we have a society where too many people never get to fulfil that extraordinary potential. My view, the liberal view, is that government's job is to help them do it. Not to tell people how to live their lives, but to make their choices possible, to release their potential, no matter who they are. Now, the way to do that is to take power away from those who hoard it, to challenge vested interests, to break down privilege, to clear out the bottlenecks in our society that block opportunity and block progress. And so give everyone a chance to live the life they want. Now there's a simple word for those ideas, and it's a word this manifesto is built on. Fairness. Our manifesto will hardwire fairness into British society. This isn't a promise, it's a plan. 
a plan based on four steps that will make a real difference to you and to your family. Four steps to a fairer Britain. Specific, concrete, tangible. So you know what fairness really feels like. Change that you can trust. Four steps right there on the front cover of our manifesto. Step one, fair taxes. That put money back in your pocket. Under the Liberal Democrats, you will not pay tax on the first £10,000 that you earn. You will get £700 back. If you and your partner both work, you will get £1,400 back. If you're working part-time and, and wondering whether it's worth it to take on more hours, it will be. If you're on benefits and wondering whether it's worth it to get a job, it will be. But, of course, some people will have to pay to make that possible. We're being totally open about that. We will close loopholes that unfairly benefit those at the top. Clamp down on tax avoidance. <laughs> introduce a new mansion tax and increase aviation duties. It's because we're being straightforward about those tax rises that you can put trust in our tax cuts. Step two, a fair chance for every child. I simply don't believe it's fair that in Britain today, a child's chances in life are determined more by their parents' bank balance than by their own hopes and dreams. So under the Liberal Democrats, there'll be more money in your local school to give your children the individual attention that they need to thrive, cutting class sizes and providing more one-to-one -one tuition. Money that will allow young children to start in your local primary school in classes of just 20. Teenagers who, who fall behind at the secondary school in your community will find themselves in one-to-one -one lessons, evening classes or, or Saturday school to help them catch up with everybody else. Step three, a fair economy. If you run a small company that needs credit and you're struggling to get it, we will make it easier by forcing the banks to lend to sound British businesses. No longer we have to look at the banks and despair at the greed and excess because we will end the bonus culture. And you won't need to worry about a repeat of the banking crash because we will break up the banks to protect your savings so they never again are used as stakes in a game of Russian roulette on the international money markets. And if you're out of work, there will be hope. We will give a guarantee to young people that if you're out of work after just 90 days, we will find you training, a job or an internship. And we will invest in green energy, public transport and homes, so that the new economy we build from the wreckage of the old is environmentally sustainable. One where Britain learns to build things again, instead of just betting on things in computer screens in the City of London. Finally, step four. A fair deal by cleaning up politics. We will break up, once and for all, the rotten political system dominated by the two old parties and put power back into people's hands. You'll have the right to sack your MP if they're proved corrupt. You will have as much influence as anyone else over our government because we'll stamp out big donations, clean up lobbying and change the voting system so that every voter's choice matters. And you will once again be able to look at our Parliament with pride, not contempt, because we will make sure every MP who avoided capital gains tax or flipped their home for personal gain is finally brought to book. So these are four steps to a fairer Britain. They are promises you can trust. Together, I think they will change our country for good if we do things differently for once. If we learn from the mistakes of the past and try something new, we can turn anger into hope, frustration into ambition, recession into opportunity for everyone.